Welcome to 3 Minute Medicine. Let's talk AV block. So, there are three types of AV block. First degree, second degree, third degree. In first degree AV block, your PR interval becomes longer, which is the interval between the P wave and the R top. Normally, it's not longer than 200 milliseconds. If it's longer than 200 milliseconds or five small squares on EKG, you have a first degree AV block. In second degree AV block, not every P wave is followed by a QRS complex, even though the PR interval may be normal. In third degree AV block, there is no relation between P waves and QRS complexes. So let's draw them out. First degree AV block, we have a P wave, and then we have a QRS complex, and then we have a T wave, and then we have a P wave, QRS complex, and then we have a T wave. And you can see that the PR interval is uh, significantly longer than it should be. Second degree AV block, not every P wave followed by a QRS complex. And we have two types. We have one in which the PR interval progressively lengthens until a QRS complex is missed. So we have P wave, QRS complex, T wave. P wave, QRS complex, very weird QRS complex, T wave. You get the point. And then we have a P wave, no QRS complex, another P wave, and a QRS complex. So we see lengthening of this interval until we skip a bead. That's the type 1, usually the result of something like reversible ischemia, some functional damage to the AV node. And then we have type 2, which is where the PR interval is normal, but for every few P waves, a QRS complex is missed. So let's take a look. Here we have a P wave, QRS complex, T wave, P wave, QRS complex, T wave, P wave, no QRS complex, P wave, QRS complex. So we count one, two, excuse me, this is not a P wave. We have one, two, three P waves, and one, two QRS complexes. So this is a type two, Mobitz two AV block uh, of the second degree with a three to two ratio of P waves to QRS complexes. And a third degree AV block, there is no relation between P waves and QRS complexes. So we have P wave, QRS complex, T wave, P wave, P wave, QRS complex, QRS complex, P wave. So this is the third degree AV block, which is a form of AV dissociation. Now finally, I have a maybe useful table for you where you can see the EKG findings for every one of these kinds of AV block, primary causes of the AV block, symptoms, and management. This was 3-Minute Medicine, and I hope you enjoyed it.